Hello, big cool viewer, welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. Um, today, I'll be reviewing the anime movie Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Based on the humble, I think I'd say name, how do you that? In a while, but whatever. Anyway, in this, uh, Gotham has been facing some uh, thefts by uh, ninjas in some uh, tech companies. Um, Barbara Gordon actually spots the ninjas when she's going through one of the tech companies for uh, a college or high school, a great. I don't know. Or credit, whatever. Um, the only place that's uh, left to rob is Wayne Industries. Uh, Penguin is assigned to uh, rob a fort and sell it to whoever robbed the other uh, tech. So uh, that's when the team into the, the girls, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, um, Raphael come along. Since they think that Penguin is uh, the Shredder's new uh, partner. But after they have his goons and that, they don't think that. Um, Michelangelo is just really impressed with all the stuff that Penguin's umbrella can do, and he's just loving being in Gotham. And I do kind of like the, that he said that Gotham and York are really different. Because I think at the beginning of the DC Comics universe, Gotham was New York, and it is based on New York, so that makes sense. And we eventually, uh, the Turtles run to Batman after they spot the Batmobile. I just think it's awesome. And uh, they get the, the shells handed to them. Can't even take them down once. And for some reason, uh, Raphael thinks Batman looks like Dracula, or a guy in a Dracula costume. And all this is pointed out in the Batman, the I mean, maybe the Batman vs. Dracula, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, then uh, Robin finds out who the Shredder's actual new partner is uh, Raish Al Ghul, but of course, in this, he found it Raj Al Ghul. And apparently, uh, they have a bit of a deal. The Shredder gives Raish the mutagen. To uh, destroy Gotham and Rage can give Shredder the Lazarus Pits. Yeah, when the Turtles find that out, they're not really happy. And when they find the uh, Batcave, Robin eventually attacks them. <laughs> Ugh, don't know. And they do kind of like that Batgirl and that Donatello argue whether the thing is called the. Uh, they're called. Uh, they call like ooze or mutagen because back all the find where uh, they're calling it the ooze is just a bit gross but I think mutagen is a bit better but and uh, everybody's uh, paired off with the person that they get along most like uh, as I said Donatello with Batgirl, Raphael with Robin uh, Batman with Leonardo and Michelangelo with the uh, Alfred. Oh, yeah, Alfred comes in with like a big stack of pieces, and Michelangelo actually knocks him down when he goes. Alfred is using his skateboard. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know. Anyway, Batman's actually actually a little bit of a sick in the mood in this part with the turtles acting like goofy sometimes. Um. Turns out that uh, Ross has access to the Joker's cell in Arkham. So they have, they have this uh, handprint analyzer to the, the, the Joker's cell door, and Ross somehow is able to open it. I don't know. It makes, it makes no sense. Um, the Joker gives Ross some exchange for some mutagen 
and yes, he used it to mu music mutate the other inmates in Arkham. And when well, Batman does, uh, here's da he and Thor go to Arkham to just deal with it since the the inmates had some hoxes. Uh, some of the inmates actually turn to mutants like uh, Freeze is a polar bear. A scarecrow is a crow. Hardy is a, a hyena, and Doctor oh no, uh, the Joker is a snake. Uh, for some reason, Ivy is a plant. I don't know why Steve doesn't make her a cricket or whatever like it is in the comic books, but I guess in this one to. Or like one less uh, fight scene and one the common moment instead. But I can really tell about Bane or Two Face for it's supposed to be, but whatever. Um let's see don't uh, the Joker reveals that the thing gave race was his formula to Joker Venom to combine with Musin, so whoever is infected isn't just a mutant but a crazy one. And he injects Batman with that and he turns into a crazy man bat. And does it does attacks everybody but eventually uh, they're able to give him the uh, anti mutagen or retro mutagen as ba uh, Bas Batgirl calls it. And let's turn out that's just a distraction since uh, Batman actually moved the product or item that uh, Shredder was uh, after and um, just uh, sent it to Bloodhaven. The Penguin is man be able to get it for a, a ghost there. And I'm not giving Penguin uh, payment. The, the Shredder just beats him up a little because he's man. And of course, uh, Turtle going to go some but Batman is against it because. He did say they need to follow orders and they just disregard his orders when uh, they thought the Joker had uh, hostages right in front of him, in front of them, and this one, the Batman doesn't want them to, the same gotten anymore, but uh, Rassel gives the whole speech about uh, even though uh, they think state stick fix that to family, uh, Batman says they're not family. And they're just a team, and Raphael points out in the same thing, and Batman says that he's right. Yeah, they just uh, get the Bamba together, and the Batmobile rides with the turtle van. Uh, I was wondering why uh, Robin never called the race grandfather in this, because he does call Batman father at some point, so I'm thinking that. Uh, this is Damien, since uh, Ross does point out that maybe Batman needs to lose another young person to get the point, not to let the kids uh, fight for him when uh, he's fighting the uh, race, uh, fighting the uh, Strider. And fight scenes between uh, Batman and Strider and the Turtles versus race is kind of good, especially when uh, the uh, Leonardo is shocked that. Ray's actually broke his uh, sword. I'm really saying he's a thousand years old and he learned from the ma some masters of Nizitsu. And then I just say, kicks him in his blind spot and punches him, saying he learned that from a rat. <laughs> um, else, uh, well, thanks to Michelangelo uh, fiddling with the, the buttons on the Wayne injuries heck before the thing goes off with the uh, Joker mutagen they're able to stop it and the Babasi says Calabunga as a cold, cold word to get uh, Raphael to attack the Strider and yet he falls into or Strider falls into Joker Venom while the whole place is coming on fire um they think they hurt the last of the strider, but 
Yeah, even Leo says that he thought that before and he just comes back. And everybody says to goodbye and Batgirl and Don Tell say they'll just uh, talk to each other online and Batgirl saying her alias online is Oracle, which is just cool. And Raphael saying that he kinda likes uh, Robin in if he's a little weird. And Robin just bound to Raphael saying he he appreciates his assistance. Um Batman saying he can't go since it's pizza time, you know. Last time they had that pizza that wasn't pizza time. And everybody including Batman has pizza in the back cave. That's kinda cool. And Zachary seeing someone a Joker up a shredder. I'm guessing they're just set up for a sequel, but yeah, I don't know. And uh, this is good. I don't think it's as good as the comic book, but it eh, can be. And with some funny moments in this, and yet it has some of the cliches as well, but it's still good. And I think the guy that voiced Batman did also voice some of the two or three Batman. Unlimited dead movies, but you know, I don't know. Is this was supposed, this was supposed to be like a uh, a movie that's supposed to sell toys or something? But it's still good. And her personalities are just a uh, great in this way better than the than ones in Rise of the Teenage Mutant Turtles. But whatever. I like I like Gordon seeing when he's just shocked seeing uh, the turtles and. Um, so they say so that just wait until retirement. Her turtles don't talk and clowns are funny. Yeah. Um the Robin and Backer on this are just good as well and the fight scenes are just great. I think Hardy talks too much, but I don't know, like I, I do kinda like the relationship between uh Strutter and Race. None of them, but none of them feel like uh, one of them like, uh, in a hierarchy than the other. You know, Strutter saying that uh, Race prompts them to prompts them the last pips and the League of Shadows or something. Yeah, I doubt the Demon's head would ever give up the League of Shadows or something like like uh, the Strutter, but yeah, I don't know. And I was kind of kind of expecting a uh, Batman to use the same move that uh, Shredder used on him in their first fight when they ended up told him what move to use. Yeah, I think this Batman would be the type of type of, the, the type of, the version of Batman that they can learn a new move if they wasn't it. But yeah, don't know. And hopefully there's a sequel and. Uh, Splinter will be in it next time, hopefully, because I don't know why they didn't, they didn't put him in, in this. I think it would have been good uh, seeing Splinter talking to uh, Alfred about raising uh, a kid by himself. Well, eh, don't know. Anyway, yeah, tell us that. I'm Sue. Yeah,